The Benicia State Recreation Area is a state park located along the Carquina Strait sandwiched between Southampton Bay and Glen Cove. Notable features of the park include Southampton Bay Wetland Preserve and Dillon Point, a sandstone formation with beautiful views of the Carquina Strait towards Benicia and Martinez and San Pablo Bay through the Carquinas Bridge. The primary rocks which make up Dillon Point are sandstones formed millions of years ago as ocean floor, which were then accreted onto the coasts of California and later uplifted and tilted due to tectonic movement. The sandstone I observed on the cliff of Dillon Point were reddish-brown in color, which is a sign of iron contents oxidizing on the rocks. Here, you can see chemical weathering take place as water breaks down the rocks and leaves behind red streaks of rust in the talus slopes between the layers of sandstone. I also observed mechanical weathering of surface sandstones which had gone through exfoliation, the expanding and shrinking of the rock, as well as frost wedging on some of the larger stones. Other forms of weathering and erosion I observed at Dillon Point were wave erosion which left satisfying ripple marks in many of the rocks down on the beach, and landslides of large boulders of sandstone which proved to be quite destructive. Gladly, only a fence was hurt during this erosional process. The earliest evidence of human impacts on the area are from the Patuan tribe of Native Americans, where some 3,300 southern Patuan settled the area before European encroachment. The Patuan would use the large sandstone boulders as grindstones for grinding acorns into a paste for later processing and consumption. The holes left behind by the Patuan remain to this day. Later on, a stonecutter by the name of Patrick Dillon bought the area from European settlers and established a brick kiln and used clay deposited in the marsh, which was carried down from the Sacramento River. The sandstone and raw materials from the bricks eventually ran out, so the area was used for sheep ranching and raising grapes until the state acquired the property for the Benicia State Recreation Area in 1967. Since the area became a protected state park, paved roads, picnic areas, and a native species botanical garden have been added. Other inclusions, like this trail marker I built, which you didn't hear from me, add a nice charm to this historic park. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.